Hello everyone, today I will show you my new mini drone project. Basically this is a Wakera Hotmax converted to a mini drone. The flight controller I have here is the other copter. Basically I got this as a combo from goodluckbuy.com. Combo comes with the flight controller itself, the GPS, as well as a free current sensor. Now the thing to note is, this really is a current sensor, it's not a power module. So it does not feed any power to the flight controller or the GPS. In order to solve this issue, I create a pigtail here. This pigtail will be plugged into the ESC rails over here. And basically that draws the 5 volt from the ESC all the way down to the PM ports which plug into the PM port here of the other copter and the power enters the PM port and powers the other copter and the GPS the only problem I have with the combo from goodluckbuy.com is this GPS this is a GPS that has the new 6M chipset instead of the Ublox layer chipset. So I have to flash the 3DR script to this. Now I've hooked up the FTDI programmer to the GPS. The connections are VCC to VCC, ground to ground, TX to RX and RX to TX. The next step would be to flash the 3DR script into this GPS unit. Now that the FTDI programmer is connected to the GPS, we can plug in the USB to the computer. The software we are using is the U-Center version 8.1 and this is what we will use to flash the 3DR script. To the GPS. The first step is to connect the correct COM port, which in this case is COM port 10. To flash the script, I go to Tools, select GNSS configuration, then I click on this button to browse for the script, which is basically a text file called 3 drublockstxt So I select it and then I click on open, then I check this option, store configuration into BBR flash. And now the moment of truth, I'm going to click on file to GNSS and see what happens. So it's flashing now. Okay, now I get a blank screen and all the graphs disappear. It should be correct. For FPV, I have the 2 grams camera here and the video transmitter over here, which is the micro module. And I also have the Free Sky receiver for the radio control. For the ESCs, I have the RC timer, 10 amp ESCs that are already pre fresh at the factory with the Simon K firmware. So, this will give a good response once I get everything hooked up together, like this. I will be able to test it at the field. Okay, here I am at the field. I'm going to test the GPS position hole or the loiter mode. The GPS in this combo is the Ublox new 6M and I have flashed the 3DR script into it. But in the mission planner software, I'm still getting some bounce in the map. Now let's see how it does in the real world test. I 
see how long the GPS can hold this position. Okay, it's drifting. Okay, it's drifting. Okay, position hold again. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 10 seconds, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, 18,000, 19,000, 20 seconds. It's still holding, but I know that it won't hold for long. 30 seconds. Changing is heading. It's drifting, 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 drifting. Okay, it's drifting. drifting.